just a quick tip for you if you'd like before you go camping this area that I've measured from here to the back is the depth of my uh, freezer in the camper and the width here is 17 inches and it's about 7 inches tall so this is what I'm going to fit into my freezer on the bottom shelf. These things are going to go on the right or I'm going to squeeze them in somehow. So uh, that's got to be done as well, of course. And uh, some of the food preps that we do, I, I take frozen fish fillets. Oops. And this will get eaten pretty quick. This is just frozen fried chicken. So we'll get that frozen up. Here's some of those special potatoes I made. I have a few more upstairs. And then um, there's some more potato slices, yes. And we have chicken casserole. I make up chicken casseroles ahead of time and freeze it. And then I believe you saw this is the frozen lasagna. I did a, a video on that. And these are breakfast casserole, uh, individual servings wrapped up. So that works perfect. So this is a sausage egg casserole that is just absolutely fantastic. And of course, breakfast burritos. They are so easy to just eat up for a breakfast. No cooking required. And then roast beef. So these are the things that we're going to take, and if you measure out your distance inside your freezer, stick it in there, then you can be ready to go, and you know it's all going to fit. Just a little easy one for you there. Now everybody probably makes celery and carrots to take with them on a trip, but rather than use a plastic bowl which you have water in, to keep them moist, sloshes around, it's hard to take, doesn't always fit into your containers very well and it takes up a lot of room. What I'll do is go ahead and slice mine up and then put them into a plastic sandwich bag with a double lock zipper. Come here. And this way when you go to put your carrots and your celery into a box, it will uh, it'll store a lot better. I'll just run a little bit of water in there, slosh it around, drain most of that water out. It's still coated with a little bit of water. And zip it up. Get as much air out as you can. And it will take you can smoosh it around, put it in different places. So that's what I do with my carrots and celery. That way it's a lot easier just to smoosh this bag into a little nook or a corner somewhere. And they keep great for four or five days all week if you keep them cool. All right. What I'm doing here is laying out my refrigerator. So these are the bins that I put inside of it. Um, I know they fit exactly right. This is the uh, top row up here on the left where the milk stands up a little higher and I put canned goods back there. This is also on the top shelf of the fridge and put whatever in there. And I have this gap in between that I can slide bottles of mayonnaise or just things like that that aren't real tall. This is on the middle shelf and so I have two of these bins. Got these at Walmart. They fit exactly. This is uh, from the here to there is exactly nine and a quarter inches and I measured my um, fridge and when they go into the refrigerator they actually fit right up against the little lip of the trailer. I don't know if it's similar to that. There's just, uh, of the refrigerator, I'm sorry, there's a little lip right inside the fridge and it just tucks 
absolutely perfect by about just an eighth of an inch and it keeps it from sliding out. These fit in there absolutely perfect. And then this is my the bottom drawers of the um, fridge. So I'm putting things in there right now. I'm going to have them in, make sure I get enough room for all this stuff. And if you're a short timer, you know, like a week, two weeks, um, I, you know, why, why mess with a great big old bottle of, you know, Miracle Whip, one of these big, one of these big honkers. Get you some small bottles and things like that it will fit. What I'll do is I keep and recycle some of my plastics, like these small ones for pickles, things that we don't need a lot of, but we want. And I'll just take them out of the big bottles. I buy them 32 ounce uh, bottles or leftover, I, you know, use these all the time for frozen food, spaghetti sauce, things like that, uh, 15 ounce containers, anything like that that you can recycle, keep reusing. They're great. They don't take up a lot of room in the camper. If you're gone for a week or two weeks, that's if you're eating that much mayo, come on, man. You got a problem? No, well, you just love mayo, right? So I'm going to go ahead and stack these up. And let's see how much stuff I can get into these and make sure everything's going to fit. I can see I'm going to have plenty of room. So all of these, there's you see how this sticks up a little, but there's a gap between the uh, this and the top of the next rack. This is the second rack. So I, I know I can squeeze that in there. I've done it before with romaine. And actually I'm going to have plenty of room. Um, it's not going to be an issue at all. So I ate down what I wanted before I left. And I'll probably have room to even put in some of these things like cornbread. Mm -mm -mm. And I won't have to worry about these. These are all refrigerated. There's a serving of lasagna, hamburger, some Boca veggie burgers for me. Those are really good. I'm going to do a video on how you make those taste fantastic. So it's not going to be an issue getting this stuff into the fridge at all. Now you may say, oh, what about eggs? Well, up on the top level, even above this one on the right side, right above it is a tray running that I set, set my egg carton on. And I can even set a few things on top of that. Again, there's a lip on that that little rack that's up there where I put my eggs, they've never fallen out. Never been an issue at all. And by the way, remember all those fast food places you go to? Why would you throw out? You, know, you ask for a, you know, a package of mayonnaise and they throw in a handful of them. Uh, all these sauces, hot mustard, I just hang on to these things. If I don't use them, I haven't been doing it lately, um, I don't go to fast food restaurants rare, but um, if we do, and I'll, I'll just ask for these things. I'll just say, hey, you got some extra sweet and sour sauce, or uh, could I have, you know, some, some more uh, mayonnaise? These are absolutely perfect. And then salt and pepper, put those in, up in your cab. So if you do go through a drive-in and you forget to ask, you got salt and pepper. And, ooh hot buffalo sauce. So all of these, I hope they help out a little bit. Even if I put these in the fridge, they're just going to thaw out over the next two or three days. They're fine. They're perfect. And we can eat them because, as you saw, I got a lot of stuff in my 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 freezer. <laughs> so there's my stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and slip this in there. Just a few leftovers. The things on the side those will go like the, the mayonnaise and my, the drinks, the water, the frozen stuff as you may have seen in another video. Butter, it's all going to go on the side of the fridge just like at home. So I hope that gave you guys a few ideas. Um, if you pack up ahead of time, all we got to do is just put these right into the truck. I'm going to leave them in those containers. We'll take them right over and slide them right into the fridge. Then I'll turn the fridge on. I won't turn it on until I load. All this stuff will be cold. Put a few ice packs in. And we're off and running. And that's going to be Wednesday morning, I hope. 
See you on the road, guys.